Hello friends and welcome back to another vlog. Happy Monday and happy Eclipse Day. I got this 10 pack of Eclipse glasses off Amazon um, and we are ready. I'm just making lunch for the kiddos right now. We're having breakfast for lunch, which is everyone's favorite. Um, and yeah, a really slow, chill Monday today. Okay, here is breakfast. The girls all have one of these Eggo French toast and they have eggs with some grapes and strawberries and syrup. Then my oldest doesn't like eggs, so he has three of those French Echo French toast. And easy peasy lunch. Okay friends, we got Chick-fil-A for lunch. This is the cherry berry lemonade, sugar-free. I did half lemonade, half unsweetened iced tea, like an Arnold Palmer. Um, but I really wanted to try the cherry berry lemonade, but wasn't feeling like a full lemonade. I don't want something super sweet right now. But I also got a grilled chicken sandwich. The deluxe one with tomatoes. That looks so good. Um, and then Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, friends. So it is Thursday. I made some salmon bowls for dinner. And I just put the leftovers into some meal prep. I, we also had kimchi with them, but it was just store-bought kimchi and I didn't love it. But there's brown rice, salmon, avocado, and then some of these um, little seaweed things. It's like basically those Emily Mariko salmon bowls and then um, drizzle spicy mayo on top. Okay friends, it's Friday now and here is our dinner. It's a high protein crock pot queso mac and cheese. It has chicken. Um, I still need to give it time for like the cheese to thicken up, but it smells so, so yummy. Um, and that is it. That is dinner for tonight. Good morning, friends. It's Saturday. I got Duncan. I got the iced butter pecan latte with one shot of blueberry and almond milk. And it's like better today. It's so iffy with Duncan. It's better today than it was last time but it's kind of like not very cold. It's like lukewarm. And then we also got donuts for the kids and we have tennis later. Um, the kids, the two older kids have tennis later. So that is our morning this morning. I just needed, I've been craving this for like a couple of days now. So went and got that in donuts for the kids. Okay, friends, here's some more meal prep. We did breakfast burritos a few days ago, so I just took the leftover tortillas um, and did some meal prepped breakfast burritos. So three of these are bacon and egg, and egg, and then these two are chorizo and egg. Just took all the leftovers from that and going to freeze them and easy um, either breakfast or lunch for the next few days. And these are also, they're wrapped in parchment paper, and then the parchment paper is wrapped in the aluminum. And that just makes it easier to freeze and then take out um, and then the parchment paper you can microwave not the aluminum though but y'all know what i mean good morning friends we're having a family day today so just did some like loose curls um this is an outfit of the day by the way loose curls these earrings these have been like my favorite to wear lately i just think they look really classy got a little cross necklace on this long dress which is like I don't know if I like it. I think I liked it really good on like the model on Amazon, but then when I wear it, I feel like it, it just doesn't feel like me. I like something a little more form-fitted and sexy. Um, let me see if I can probably throw it up. It's like this long dress. It goes down like nearly to my ankle. I just have Crocs on right now. It's cute, but I just wish like, especially up here, if it were like that, that'd be awesome. It doesn't even have a place to put a belt. Um, like that would be so much cuter, I think. Um, and then the shoes. Okay, and then I'm wearing these shoes with it, but look. My dog got to them last time I wore them, which was like months ago, because it's been winter. And there's this, and so I want to find like, um, we have like brown acrylic paint somewhere in the house, so I'm thinking of just painting over it. Not right now, I'm just gonna wear them as is, like whatever. But maybe when I get home, paint over it with brown acrylic paint. And that's, outfit of the day for family day. Hello friends. Okay, it is still Sunday, but I have a couple TikTok shop finds. I might actually end up doing like a full sit down like shoe haul for those who don't watch my vlogs, just because I feel like hauls are more searchable on YouTube and they get more views. 
with peace and love i know there are some people who like my vlogs but they just don't get the views so i might also do a shoe haul in a few weeks um but these are all from be lovely on tiktok shop which i shared a couple shoes from them a few weeks ago um but these are cowboy boots and i i live in texas so it's like very common to wear cowboy shoes cowboy boots every day um but i got this black pair um and then this white pair is almost the exact same, but it's like shorter. I'll put them side by side for y'all. Just to wear, I think of the white one I'm actually gonna get a lot of use out of because that's perfect for like wearing with like spring dresses. Okay, I've also changed my outfit because I was filming some like clothing stuff outside. And so this will be featured in a haul in a couple weeks probably. But um, here's the difference in length. So these ones go like closer to your knee and these ones only go like halfway up your calf. But other than that, they're basically the same boot. Um, I think the stitching the pattern and the stitching is different, but like not by a lot. Um, and then like, you can also get the white ones like this that are longer and you can get the black ones like this that are shorter. I did them like this because I feel like if I'm wearing black it's probably because I'm going for like more of a sexier look you know I want them more up my leg more up my thigh whereas if I'm wearing white I'm probably wearing it with a dress and I don't want it so high up my thigh does that make sense so that's why I, that's why I chose what I did but like I said from be lovely on tiktok shop also, my husband brought this home from work. I guess he lights candles in his office, I don't know. But he burned it all the way down, so he brought it home because whenever this happens with candles, I'll melt them on the stove and make them into wax melts. So that's why he brought it home. So I'm gonna clean all that up and melt it down. I'm pretty sure it's from Target. Also, I'm keeping this jar. This jar is beautiful. It's almost like a concrete material. Coconut water and orchid, the brandish threshold. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it's from Target. And it has like a, a wooden top and then the sides are like i said they're like a concrete beautiful jar i will definitely um be keeping this to store little knickknacks and stuff in good morning friends it is now tuesday i just got groceries and i got starbucks you can't really see um this is an iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso i need to like stir it more i feel like i can't give it a good review and i don't have like a straw or anything Okay. I mean, the top is good, but there's still like so much coffee down here that I'm not getting all of that. I got that pretty much because I feel like everyone on TikTok loves this. All the like TikTok moms love this one. Normally I'll get something like whatever is seasonal, but they took the lavender off of their menu, which makes me so sad because I loved it. Um, they took the lavender off of their menu. And then the new seasonal stuff is like spicy refreshers. Which the only time I like spicy stuff like that is as a drink is when there's alcohol involved because I feel like the spice covers the taste of the alcohol. Um, just like a spicy refresher, basically like a spicy juice or spicy soda doesn't sound appealing to me. Um, but I did get groceries, so I'll show you just the fun stuff, which I think we did get a lot of fun things when we go inside. Okay, friends, here's the fun stuff. First off, I stirred... I mixed this together. I had to use a spoon to mix it together perfectly, by the way, which like if you're driving to work or whatever, that's just not convenient. Um, but once you do get it mixed together, it's so good. On to the fun stuff. My husband requested a pasta dish for dinner later this week. So I got some chickpea pasta because it has 20 grams of protein and also fiber. Um, so got these. I asked my son what he wanted from the store. And this is what he requested, the Hershey's cookie and cream. Then I got these. I like to put these in the freezer. And they are like one of my big cravings lately. I like to have one or two when I have like my tea at night. Um, it's so yummy. Um, got some protein chips. Actually, what I've been really craving because I saw it on TikTok is putting chips inside of like a sandwich. Like, you know, turkey sandwich with Swiss cheese and chips inside. So... Got some protein chips. I actually haven't tried these loaded taco ones, but I got a big bag. There's four in here. And then I got three of the ranch ones. Cause I feel like these two flavors just sounded the best for putting inside a sandwich. 
my favorite is the Thai chili one, but that didn't sound great for a sandwich. Um, this is my favorite protein powder. They were out of the big jars, big like canisters we usually get. So just got the bag. It's the gold standard um, double rich chocolate. This I have not seen before, but the chocolate chip brownie mix from PB2. I love the PB2 um, powdered peanut butter and I didn't know they did like mixes. So we are going to make brownies with this later, probably not anytime soon. By later, I mean like maybe next week. So we actually have a bunch of cookies in the fridge we need to use up, which I actually might make those today. These, okay, I saw Dr. Squatch post these on their Instagram and immediately had to see if my Walmart had them, but they're lip balms. Now, my husband loves the Dr. Squatch soaps. So got the lip balms, it comes in two flavors. The original, this is the original, it's the mint. That's one's for me, even though it says men's, whatever. Um, but I got myself the mint and then vanilla bourbon for my husband. Some shampoo and conditioner, I always like to rotate through different brands. Tresemme is one of my favorite. This is the Hyaluronic Plex, so gonna try this one. Last time I got the um, Head and Shoulders, which I usually love, but I feel like it was kind of leaving like a film on my hair. So I'm really glad to be almost done with that one. I don't think it was I like Head and Shoulders in general. I think it was just the type of Head and Shoulders I got. It was leaving kind of like a, fil a film on my hair and it was like bothering me. So we're gonna do this one. And the reason I got this Hyaluronic Plex one is because this is the only one that I could see on the app that had the pumps and I just personally like that. So hopefully it's good. And then very last thing for the fun stuff is this Bridgerton coffee. This is the English toffee. And that just sounds so delightful for a coffee. So hope it's good. And that's it for the fun stuff. I also went ahead and took all of my sourdough discard out of the fridge and fed it all because I want to make pancakes and bread later this week. So normally I would just take one of them out to feed it um, and then I'd leave the other two in the fridge for discard. These are all from the same starter by the way. I just keep them in three separate containers. That way like if one goes bad I don't lose my entire starter. Um, but I haven't used them for a couple weeks now so I just went ahead and fed all of it, all three of them. Um, and then I'll put two back in the fridge. Let the yeast rest and keep one out and continue to feed that one. So that way I can use it in pancakes and in some bread later this week. Look how beautiful they look. If you aren't like into sourdough discard or sourdough bread or recipes or whatever, um, it probably just looks like gross mush, but um, they're going to rise. I'll get a clip of them when they're like more risen. Um, but it's doing so good and I'm so happy and it's about, I started it in January, so they're about three months old now. That's so exciting. And these two, I know most people like to put them in like mason jars and stuff. These two are just in sour and, um, cottage cheese containers that say sourdough. And this was a like ramen takeout container. So, you know, we do it really simply over here, but I actually do prefer putting them in these plastic containers over, um, a mason jar. Cause like the, the shape of a mason jar is just like, it's harder to mix. These are a lot easier to mix. Anyways, that's it for now. Okay friends, so I am making these s'more cookies right now. What I do is cook them halfway, put the toppings on and then cook them the rest of the way. We had these left over from spring break when we did um, cookie pizzas. And so decided to finally use them up. And then we also just happened to have some mini marshmallows and some chocolate chips, so. Now there's s'mores cookies. And here they are all done. Plus this one, which we already started digging into. Okay friends, it's been like probably 12 hours. Um, here's just a sourdough update. They rose a little bit. Um, as you can see, there's like a lot of air bubbles. They're very bubbly, that's what you want. Actually, honestly, I would prefer them more bubbly than this. This one's a good one, but the more you feed it, the better it'll get. Two of these, like I said, are gonna go back in the fridge though. I'll probably keep this one out since it's the most bubbly. Um, these two are gonna go back in the fridge to let the yeast go back to sleep, go dormant, and then you don't have to feed them. Um, then I'm gonna keep feeding this one. I have been feeding, I feed them every 12 hours just cause I've noticed after 12 hours, that's when they start to smell kind of like nail polish remover again and that means that the yeast is hungry. So I'm going to discard half and then feed it. 
Um, but yeah, that's just an update. Um, they look very different from when you like very first feed them, like after you've let them rise for a while. They look a lot different than when you very first feed them. So I just wanted to show you what they should look like if things are going correct, correctly. Okay friends, that is going to be it for today's vlog. Kind of a shorter one this week, um, but I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. Bye friends.